Okay guys, so in this one we are gonna set up our live database. So first go in and uh, go to databases into your web faction account and we'll call it MVP landing database and we're gonna use a MySQL database and we'll create a new user and we will call this MVP landing user. Okay, copy that and then we're gonna put a password here Um, I'm just going to do something really simple and I'm going to change it later. Okay, so then back into Komodo Edit, we're going to do a new file here and we're going to call it live.py. Open up live and let's copy over databases. Okay, and we're going to change this to MySQL, and the name of it was the database name that we gave it, so MVP Landing Database, that's the name of it, okay, so put that in there, and then the user is going to be this user that we just named, and they already have permissions, okay, so put the password for it, for that person, right? Uh, if you forgot the password, you can just hit edit user, set a new one. Uh, I recommend you make this password more complicated than what I have here. Uh, but again, this is just for you. So you will have to kind of put your own settings and stuff like that there. Okay. So another thing that we want to do is we're going to put debug in here. Eventually we're going to put that to false, but for now we're going to leave it like that. Um, other than that, we're going to leave the same settings and then we just need to add this last one in here and go to from live import all. Okay. So now we go into our FTP, go to your web apps and then we need to change this stuff. So let's bring over our MVP landing folder and we're going to grab our settings here. We're going to grab this whole thing over, drag it in here. Okay, and delete the old one. All right, and we need to add our static file. So let's do that now. We're going to add it in where manage.py is, as you see there. And we're going to add in our join files. Those might take a moment to load. And then make sure that you are in your um, connection there. So SSH into it. Type in your password. If it asks you about an RSS key, just say yes, that's okay. And we're going to go into our web apps, MVP underscore landing. Okay. So. Let's change into our root folder here where manage.py is and we're going to do Python 2.7. This time you actually have to declare Python 2.7 um, when you do that. So manage.py, it's actually still transferring so we're not going to do that quite yet. But we will do a pip install self. Okay, it's already in there which is good but yours might not be so just make sure that you do have it in there. Uh, we might even do a pith, pip install upgrade. Uh, yours is probably a little bit newer. No, same one. Okay, cool. So now everything's transferred over. Now let's list everything out, make sure we're in the right area. So Python 2.7, manage py, and then we're going to sync the database. Hopefully we have all of our things set up correctly. It looks like we do. So we'll say yes, and then you put a username in and an email and a password. This all should look very familiar to you. Cool. Uh, south, or if you notice, join was not synced because of migrations, but we didn't actually migrate it yet. So let's go in here and delete these migrations because they are from our local file, or our local folder, local computer, uh, which is okay. So 
Let's sync it again. And this time it did sync it, so we can do a Python manage, oops, Python 2.7 manage py, and then convert to south, and we call it join. Okay, press enter. And there we go. So now we have it ready for south and all that. So let's just see if everything's working. We'll go into Apache. We have to restart the server. Now before we used to just close the server and then open it and that's how it would restart. But this is actually how you do it. You have to first change into Apache. Then you have to change into the bin. And then if you list everything out, you'll see all these different things. All you have to do is press period slash restart. And this actually restarts the server. Okay, so after this, we are gonna wanna check to see that our page is even working. So this is the local one. We're gonna go to our live one now. Do a quick little refresh on your domain. And cool, it looks like it's working, but it doesn't look like this. So what's going on here? Um, well, it says we haven't configured any URLs. Oh, okay, so we didn't actually bring the URLs over yet. Um, so let's minimize a bunch of this stuff. And we just actually want to be in here. We can minimize the settings file. Let's go into our folder, settings, okay. So we'll go into URLs. And we can just drag this in. We're going to override it. Do a quick little refresh. It might not actually do anything because we have to restart one more time. There we go. Template does not exist. Ooh, this is a good start. Um, so let's see, what do we not have in here? We do have our static files, do we? Yes. So let's just check to make sure our static files are working. So we'll do Python 2.7 manage py collect static, say yes. And it looks as if our static files are not in the right place. Let's move them one level in to where it says here. And try that one more time, say yes. Cool, looks like no errors that time. Let's do a quick little refresh here, boom. So now we have that working, we have our order. Let's see if our admin works. Looks like it is. There it is, and it is working. And mvplanding.com works. Uh, one little thing here is if we type that, we get this page not found. That is not what we want. So in the next one, we will just do our last few things and declare this thing live and ready to go.